If you are a collector of U.S. coins, particularly Roosevelt dimes, you'll likely find it easy to locate a circulated or even uncirculated superb gem specimen dated 1965. The U.S. Mint struck over 1.6 billion dimes in 1965 after transitioning to a copper-nickel-clad sandwich, making them abundantly available. However, this isn't just any 1965 dime. It's an error coin highly coveted by collectors, and it could be in your possession if you pay close attention. Starting this year, the Mint eliminated all silver composition from the Roosevelt dime. As the price of silver increased, the Mint opted to strike circulating coinage from a much cheaper alloy. Silver dimes continued to be struck to deplete the remaining stock, but those coins were intended to be produced with 1964 dated dies. Due to a mint slip-up, however, some silver dime planchettes were struck with 1965 dies. These are highly elusive and, in limited numbers, are worth a significant amount of money. Distinguishing a 1965 silver Roosevelt dime, error, from a regular 1965 copper-clad Roosevelt dime involves a few key factors that can be checked without specialized equipment. The standard 1965 dimes are made of a clad composition containing copper and nickel and weigh 2.268 grams. In contrast, the rare 1965 silver error dimes, which were mistakenly minted in 90% silver, weigh slightly more at 2.5 grams. For the copper-clad dimes, you might see a distinct copper-colored stripe along the coin's edge, while the silver dimes will have edges that look consistently silver all the way through 5 source. This particular specimen was graded Mint State 62 by NGC and ultimately sold for $14,400 in 2024 at Heritage Auctions. Do you happen to have a 1943 Washington Quarter nestled in your collection? Um, well, hold on to your hats and take a closer look, because if you spot a curious doubling effect on the digits of the date, guess what? You're potentially sitting on a gold mine worth thousands of dollars. Picture this, a seemingly ordinary 1943 Quarter, innocently circulating through the hands of everyday folks, unbeknownst to its true value. Yet, within its unassuming facade lies a hidden treasure, the elusive 1943 double diobverse scent. This rare gem, graded as AU55 by the reputable NGC, boasts impressively bold doubling on all obverse legends, making it a standout among its peers. But wait, there's more. Among the various double die obverse varieties for the 1943 quarter, one reigns supreme, the formidable FS103. Its striking features and undeniable allure make it a must-have for any serious collector. Imagine the thrill of owning such a piece of numismatic history. Now, let's talk numbers. This remarkable coin, with its satiny, brilliant surfaces and minor handling wear, recently found its way into the hands of a lucky bidder for a staggering $3,120, a testament to its rarity and desirability in the world of coin collecting. So, fellow enthusiasts, heed the call to action. Check your collections, scour your pockets, and who knows, you just might stumble upon a fortune in the form of a humble 1943 Washington Quarter. Normally, the 1972D Kennedy half dollar is not considered scarce. However, the absence of one particular element can significantly elevate its value and desirability. This element is the missing initials of the engraver, FG, on the reverse side. According to Ron Guth, a numismatic expert, a small percentage of 1972D half dollars lack the designer's initials, FG, for Frank Gasparro, on the reverse, positioned between the eagle's left leg, viewer's right, and the tail. While this might seem like an error on the engraver's part, it is more likely that the dies were intentionally ground down to remove clash marks, inadvertently removing the initials in the process. Similar instances of no initial half dollars occurred with some 1966 and many 1982 P half dollars. One such 1972 Denver specimen without the FG initials fetched a substantial sum of $1,092.50 at auction. Here we present another modern error coin, the 1995 Lincoln cent with a double die obverse. According to PCGS, the doubling on the 1995 double die is striking enough to be visible to the naked eye. Initially, when these coins were first discovered, they commanded prices as high as $300 for each raw example. However, as more examples were unearthed over time, the premiums dropped significantly, reaching as low as $20 or even less per coin. Despite this decline in premium, the 1995 double-dyed Lincoln Cent remains a remarkable coin. 
boasting the most pronounced doubling among all circulating coins from 1995 to the present day. A specimen graded MS69 was sold for $4,560. This is a 1964 D Washington quarter with the type C reverse, also known as having the reverse design of 1965. With a mintage of over 704 million coins struck, the 1964 D holds the record for the highest mintage in the Washington quarter series up to that point in time. Despite this high mintage, upper end gems are surprisingly scarce, making this specimen the finest example of the type C reverse variety known to PCGS. This highly elusive coin was sold for $8,400 at a Stax Bowers auction. A Roosevelt dime with appealing toning, remarkable striking definition, and excellent preservation. This 1948 D dime attained an MS68 grade from PCGS, signifying superb gem condition in numismatics. Additionally, it received a full bands designation, indicating that the bands on the torch are well-defined and fully separated, a sign of minimal wear. This full bandime was eventually sold for $2,520 at Heritage Auctions. In conclusion, we've explored some remarkable numismatic treasures, each with its own fascinating story and value. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who share your passion for coins. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment down below about your favorite piece or any questions you might have. And remember to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content on rare coins and collectibles. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.